Hi, this is TJ with Piano Clubhouse, and today I'm going to show you how to play All I Ask by Adele. The song is in the key of E natural. The scale of E has four accidentals. The scale is E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. All right, so let's get right. Uh, let's get started right with the introduction. Uh, has a fairly complex progression that's going on. Uh, left uh, left hand is just going from uh, E, G sharp, A, then B. One more time, repeat it. E, then G sharp. A then D. A then B, sorry. Here's B. Right hand. Alright, so uh, this is the complex part. Uh, right hand's gonna be doing lots of uh, uh, traversing back and forth. The primary melody you should be hearing is D sharp, E, F sharp, D, R, D sharp, E, F sharp. Just those three notes. It's what's progressing back and forth in this pattern or in this rhythm. And then the last one will go, then it repeats again. Okay, so that's what we're going to be hearing. And you're going to be filling in notes in between there. So, slowly. So, in between, after the D sharp, you're going to stretch down and hit E, B. And then E, hit the E and B again, and hit the F sharp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's over the E in the left hand. Next one is similar when the left hand goes to G sharp. Right hand's gonna do the same thing except stretching down instead of stretching down this E, the left hand, the thumb's gonna stretch up only to this F sharp. Okay, so it's shortening up your right hand stretch a little bit. So the next progression. Then the third one, left hand goes to A, right hand's gonna go up to A as well. Your thumb's gonna go up to A, and everything else is the same. Last one, the left hand goes to B. The thumb's gonna go back to uh, F sharp. You're gonna do that one time, and then the pattern goes. And that's probably the hardest part of the progression is doing these pair of notes going up while your left hand's still reaching down to the F sharp and the B. Here it goes again. And that move is E sharp, I'm sorry, D sharp and F sharp, up to E and G sharp, and then F sharp and A. All right, so let's take the introduction slowly, and then uh, we'll move on to the verse. rather difficult to do. It's going to take a lot of practice to get that right hand stretched out to get all that. And you might be saying, hey, my hands aren't big enough to be able to hit, hit those two notes, especially to get up to that last, that last stretch. So one thing you can do, one alternative is just use your thumb to hit this B, okay? Okay, it will sound just fine. Um, and you don't have to worry about stretching all the way down there. That's probably the most comfortable thing to do. All right, so let's move on to the verse now. So moving on to the verse, the verse actually does that introduction line, the progression that we just did. It does that a couple of times. And then instead of ending it how we did before, instead of going to that, 
the right the we're going to do one, a special line to take us into the course or maybe what we call the pre-course what builds us up into the course so uh, let me do that last progression one time and then we'll take it out into this new section Now this is going to be let's pretend like we're going into the uh, into the pre-chorus section. Now left hand is going to go down to G sharp. Right hand is going to do. So left hand is going to go G sharp, C, and then end on C sharp. G sharp, C, C sharp. Right hand is going to do a line. C, D sharp, and then go up to G sharp when the left hand goes to C. You can even throw this C back in here. Then come down to F sharp. And then we end up on uh, left hand's on C sharp, right hand is G sharp, C sharp, E. This is a C sharp minor chord, okay? And now the pattern we're going to be playing is where we're playing the chord, but we're breaking it up, and that we're playing it two notes first, and then that last note at a time. The two top notes first, and then the bottom note by itself. Okay? Left hand's on C sharp. Next, left hand goes down to uh, B, and then this C sharp drops down to B. Next, left hand goes to F sharp. Right hand is just going to go up to A, C sharp, F sharp. This is the F sharp minor chord. Then left hand goes to B, right hand stays the same. Okay, now let's get into the meat of the course. So the course is going to go, uh, left hand is going to be on E, right hand is just going to be on an E major, uh, E major chord, B, E, G sharp, same uh, pattern. Left hand is going to drop down to C sharp next. The, the right hand, uh, we're just going to raise this E up to F. And the left hand is going to do a passing note of uh, just raise this up to F. So both both hands actually went to F. Sorry, we were at, there we go. Right hand goes to F. And left hand follows. The next left hand goes to F sharp. Right hand is just going to go to. Uh, okay, this will be an F sharp minor chord. Right hand is going to stay the same. Left hand is just going to go to B, and then a passing chord to get it to start it over. Uh, to start it over again, we're going to do two chords. Left hand go to go to C sharp. Right hand is going to go to A major chord, A C sharp, E. Left hand goes to B major, B D sharp, F sharp. Left hand goes to D sharp, and then we're back to uh, E major chord. Okay, so let's play this chorus part one more time, slowly. Left hand F. Left hand to B by itself. Okay, and it happens twice. Well, that whole progression happens twice. coming out of this. So we've ended up on that chord. We're just going to walk down. Uh, left hand's going to E, D sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and then F sharp, up to B. One more time. Left hand, B, D sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and then uh, F sharp, B, and 
right hand's gonna go, and then as soon as we hit, as soon as we hit that, we go back to the beginning. The whole progression we did there. Um, let's see what the right hand does for that. We ended up here. Uh, we're just on this E major chord. Next, uh, when the left hand's on the D sharp, right hand is on the uh, E or E D sharp minor, E flat minor. No, this is a B chord over D sharp, B D sharp F sharp. So. Left hand goes to C sharp, C sharp, right hand goes to the C sharp minor chord. And you can even run that melody, F sharp, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, A. And then when the left hand goes to F sharp, we're going to hit this F sharp minor chord. Left hand goes to B, right hand stays the same. So the whole time we're still, don't forget, we're still doing that, that same pattern. We're hitting the top two notes and alternating with the thumb. Okay. And back to that pattern. Okay, so let's do the, uh, the chorus one more time all the way through, and then we'll, uh, we'll finish up. So... back into the beginning melody uh, like we did at the beginning of the verse okay so moving on so now going to the bridge um, but they do the chorus one more time then the new the bridge is Okay, then it changes key. So let's walk through what we're doing on the bridge. So it starts out with the left hand on the D and right hand on an E major chord. Okay, and still doing the same pattern. Then we're going to go to an A major chord. Left hand's on A, right hand is E, A, C sharp. Then left hand goes to F sharp. Right hand can stay right where it's at. Then left hand moves to B. Keep the right hand there. Move the left hand by itself to A. Then left hand is going to go to G sharp. Right hand is going to go to a B major chord. Uh, D sharp, F sharp, B, D sharp. Then the left hand, the only thing that's going to move is this B up to C. We're going to do that for two beats. And the left hand is going to move up to uh, C sharp. And the right hand is going to uh, shift up to uh, C sharp minor chord, E, G sharp, C sharp. Left hand goes to F sharp, right hand goes back to the A major chord, E, A, C sharp. Left hand's up to B by itself. Then the key chain is right here. Right hand's on a F, B flat, D, F, B flat major chord over C. And then. Now we're just doing the chorus in the key of uh, F sharp. I'm mean, key of F, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to start out with. Uh, 
F major chord, F in the left, right is C, F, A. Left hand goes down to D, right hand just raises F sharp, F to F sharp. Passing note of F sharp in the left. Then G in the left, right hand is uh, D, F, B flat. Left hand moves to C, right hand stays the same. Then as this passing chord before we start it over, left hand goes to E, right hand goes to C major, C, E, G. Okay, not start it over, we'll go to the second part of it. So from there, left hand is F, left is F, right hand is C, F, A, same thing we started on. Left goes to E, right hand just pivots it down to C, E, G. Left goes to D, right hand goes back to the C, F, E. Say C F A. That's a nice little melody to run. G A B flat, G A B flat, A G F. But I'm hitting this A with it. And the left hand goes down to A in the middle of that. Left hand goes to G, right hand goes to D, F, B flat. Left hand goes to C, right hand stays the same. E in the left, C, E, G in the right. And to end it, uh, from that last run, I just did uh, B flat A G A B flat. I played the C and the F, and just brought the B flat down to A and down to G, while the F and the C stayed, and resolve this F down to E, and then you can just end on F major chord. Okay, so let's do that last section in the key of F, and then we'll be done. So we can uh, just see how we put it all together. Okay, a little sloppy, but you get the idea. Um, takes practice. I've given you the tools to equip you to play the song. I just practice it over and over again, and in no time you'll be playing it like the album. This has been TJ with Piano Clubhouse showing you how to play uh, All I Ask by Adele. Thanks for watching.